African Infotainment TV. Bow Pop African Infotainment TV. Shalom and greetings, nice and decent people out there. Yeah, greetings, Jabi, blessed love. Give thanks for the invitation. Yeah, man, it's the fifth edition, fifth edition now of Rise and Shine Festival. Give it to the started to organize things in a certain mood you know we want to have make the people feel good you know and not always have the thing like it's just they, they, it's a must to consume it's a must to buy it's a must to pay high entry fees you know it's a must to I don't know what it's a must to be in a certain kind of clothing you know and yeah, that's that's how how everything started, I think. And yeah, yeah, of course, when we started with the sound system, this was even a big big point in our history. <laughs> I will give my own rating. I say it is one of the cleanest festivals, one of the purest festivals, and one of the conscious reggae festivals we have not only in Europe but across the globe. We do what we can for for keep the quality. You know that's why we always also limit the the amount of people who can come to the festival. Is we, we have a certain amount of toilets, we have a certain amount of people who can help in the bar and kitchen, you know, and that's make sure, and, and so we can make sure that the products we use are really the products we want to use. You, you know that the, the ingredients of the food are regional and come from the farmers around and are biological and organic. I see Rise and Shine every year when I come, especially for this year, there are always, you know, the education side is always very, very, you know, yeah, very, very impressive, focused upon. Reggae, you know, started in Jamaica, we, we must remember that. And, but the biggest market for many years was England, UK, because it had a large amount of Jamaican immigrants. In the UK, we also developed a few different branches of reggae, like we had the Lovers Rock, which is primarily um, sweet, sexy reggae, so to speak, you know, with, with a romantic tinge. And that produced quite a lot of artists and producers. You have people like Dennis Bovell, we like Janet Kay, Carol Thompson, Sandra Cross, and it was primarily a UK thing. Even some Jamaican artists started to make Lovers Rock, people like Sugar Miner, Dennis Brown and Gregory Isaacs. And um, alongside Lovers Rock, we, we kept the dub thing going from like the early 80s, with like myself and Josh Shaka. <laughs> Them just a fight dies too. Them until I say, my, 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 music is where the engineer become the recreator in terms of the remix. He adds effects and he takes away parts of the multi-track as you probably saw just now. 
you take away and you add. Mm -hmm. But it's all done by the engineer and you put your stamp upon the music. Your signature is on the music. So when, when you do what you do, the way you do it, people could say, okay, that's professor. Or people could say, oh, that's so-and-so. I've done it. Because you take away and you add. Dub started with Tubbies, around people like King Tubbies and a guy named Errol Thompson and then Lee Perry, you know, and they took it as an abstract form of music. And, it, and you know, it, it was very popular. It was a B-side music at first, and then people turned it over from the B-side to the A-side. And it really became, it, it climaxed when you would go to the record shop and you would listen to the B-side as opposed to the A-side. The main topic is Rastafara in the festival, you know, and the faith about it, the liberty, you know, the, the everything, how you spread it, how you live it, how you do it, how it feels like, you know. And there were some places in my life I felt Rastafara, you know. I felt the love and I felt the feeling I, I, I want to give other people. That's why I do things like that. You see how many people are here just for sharing that, you know. And you see there are not many drunken people. There are not many people who, I don't know, are aggressive or something like that. I don't know if there is one person who is aggressive. I've never seen that yet. No. <laughs> Give thanks. I, I... And it's not only this occasion, but in the previous years where I've been here, everybody concludes at the last day that this is one of the most decent festivals you have in Europe. What informs you choosing your artists? Because it's so very informative and it's very impressive, you know? You know, um, we always look what are the touring calendars are from the, from, from the artists. And we, we look where they play and how they play and how, what, how they, um, how they um, act when they are not on the stage or something like that. Our work is more the deeper thing. And yeah, we, we, we know the right artists for that because we know their records, we know their releases, we love their releases since long time. They don't want to see us live together.
there's a very, very natural, you know, natural vibe in the place. Rise and shine. Let's hope that they keep that spirit, you know, within what they're doing. You know, herbal teas, good food. Yeah, it's a nice, bright, you know, cultural feeling. I'm impressed. Reggae music and Rastafara is really strong together. Of course, in the meantime, there is a lot of reggae music which has nothing to do with Rastafari. And I always also appreciate this kind of music and this kind of artists because, you know, music is love and life, you know. So as long you don't make bad and negative music, <clears throat> it's good you do music. So, but yeah, Rastafari and reggae music is a very strong fusion for me because there is a lot of history behind that. It's really hard because the answer's not so clear and society no fear and it seems that no one has the time to care but I'm grateful for the fact you're always on my back because it compensates for everything we lack despite the constant state of strife I'm glad I have you with my life and when frustration starts to grow I simply concentrate on you Even when our plans go wrong Like a lion you stay strong And since you deserve the best Expect it from your lioness So this one is for all my brothers Keeping it real And showing all the sisters how you feel I read to you mean the world to me. What will be your message as the organizer and as a Rasta man and as, you know, a man with just the love and passion for humanity? The only thing I can say is when I ask people when they come the first time to a festival is they always regret that they don't went before. And so, yeah man, I, I the only thing is I can recommend check it out one day, two day. It is a very special and different thing and yeah man, we do really our best to put a special um, thing yeah, man, upon, the, upon the feet. Well, we've reached the conclusion of our show today. Thank you for watching. Baobab TV right on the action spot, Rise and Shine 2015. It's been such an interesting day. I did enjoy myself and I hope you did too. Stay in tune. Well, we are... We hope that you enjoy the program today. Keep it locked and dialed on Baobab TV, your African infotainment channel. Baobab African infotainment TV. 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 Baobab African Infotainment